In this video, AT Megas 328 Timer 1 is programmed to measure the time between two consecutive pulses input to Arduino's digital pin. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have a SBDT microswitch coupled with a debound circuit generates at the output a single pulse every time we click on the switch. The pulse is applied to digital pin D8 of the Arduino. We also have an LED connected to digital pin D2 and we have an OLED screen interface to the Arduino using I2C connection. Timer 1 is programmed to give both input capture interrupt and overflow interrupt. Input capture interrupt occurs whenever there is a pulse, rising edge pulse input to digital pin D8 of the Arduino. The objective is to measure the time between two consecutive rising edge pulses and the measure time is displayed on this OLED screen. The LED will toggle every time we have an overflow interrupt. Keep in mind the measurement of time between two consecutive pulses must be performed within the span of overflow interrupt. Let's see how we can measure time when timer 1 is programmed in input capture mode. The clock frequency is fixed at 16 MHz. We set the prescaler to this value and the time between each count is calculated as 64 microsecond. Timer 1 will start counting from 0 all the way to this value. During the count when the first pulse arrives at pin D8, this count value is saved in the input capture register of timer 1. And input capture interrupt occurs, and this interrupt service routine is called, and the captured value is saved. When the second pulse arrives, this count value is stored in the input capture register of timer 1, and input capture interrupt occurs, and the ISR is called and we then calculate the difference between the first capture and the second capture. Now if we take the difference and multiply it by 64 microsecond this will give us the time between the two pulses. The calculation of time must be done within the span of the overflow interrupt and each overflow interrupt will take time of 64 microsecond multiplied by 2 to the power of 16 which gives us a time of 4.19 second. So the time we measure should be less than this value. We program timer 1 control register B by choosing values for the clock select bits 101 to give us a prescaler of 1024. We set this bit to 1. This is the input uh, capture noise canceller. And we set this bit to 1. This is the input capture edge select. 1 is for rising edge. 0 is for falling edge. And the C++ statement is shown here. We also need to program the timer 1 mask register by enabling the input capture interrupt and the overflow interrupt. And this is the C++ statement. Within the setup function, we need to program timer 1 for input capture interrupt and overflow interrupt. First, we reset the uh, timer 1 control registers and we reset the counter. And then we program timer 1 control register B to have a 1024 prescaler, rising edge, and noise canceller. We program timer 1 uh, mask register to enable input capture and overflow interrupts. When the first uh, rising edge pulse is detected at pin D8 of the Arduino, input capture interrupt occurs and this ISR is executed, where we save the first count value inside a variable and then wait for the next pulse. When the second pulse arrives, again, this ISR is executed and we store the second uh, count value and then calculate the difference and then reset the variables to be ready for the next calculation. To ensure that time measurement is performed between two consecutive overflows, when an overflow interrupt occurs, this ISR is executed, where we reset the values so that we are ready for the next calculation. Inside the loop function, and using this while loop, 
we will loop indefinitely until we have the two captured values and we have the difference. And once we have the difference, we can then calculate the time using this uh, equation and then display the time on the OLED screen. And now for a quick demonstration. In my next video, I will modify the code to measure the frequency of input periodic signals. Thank you for watching.